Okay, so I've just received the pine phone. This is the box and I have to say that the box is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I would buy the phone just for the box. And then we have the cable, which is red. And again, I love the fact that it's red, like super pretty. Then we have an hub, which we can use to connect the pine phone to like an external monitor or USB-C keyboard or mouse, super useful, even ethernet is in it. And then finally we have the actual phone that I have already turned on. So we can see first of all that the UI is super small but that is a bug. Uh, I've already worked around it so don't worry but what you will see now is a bug. It's not supposed to be this small. Anyway let's try the pin which is wrong. Let's try again. This time it will be alright. And then we can see the phone with all the applications in it. We can see index to manage files and it's pretty snappy and actually if I go and close it again animations are just fine in the task manager as well and it's really snappy like you would say it's it was a much more laggy but it isn't if we open the camera there's this camera up but I forgot to turn on the camera so forget about it and uh, we also have settings settings and we can use it to like connect to Wi-Fi and stuff, but also change the theme. If I set it to breeze dark, we can see that the status bar at the top got dark. And then we can see calendar, which is used to as a calendar. And again, the calendar that you will see at the center is much smaller than it's supposed to be. So don't worry about it. It will be much bigger. And we've got like the gestures to open the drawers. And in theory, I should also be able to like create a new task on the calendar, but I actually forgot how it's done. So I'm pressing random buttons, but I, <laughs> I could not find the right one. Sorry about that. And then if we go back again, if the UI was a bit bigger, I would not misclick stuff. We can go back and see the calculator. A couple of seconds to load and then I've got to say that the calculator is very pretty. Like you also have a slider from the right to use more advanced stuff. It works really well. And then what else do we have? We have um, Nota, which is the application uh, that you can use as a text editor. And again, this takes a bit of time to load, but that's mostly because it's a MAUI app. MAUI app uh, needs a couple of seconds more to load everything. But after it's loaded, it's absolutely beautiful as an application. We can change the brightness from the status bar, and then we can open the virtual keyboard and start typing. It works really well. Again, I think that this design of the virtual keyboard is just on spot really well done and then we can also create new files again the UI is a bit small but when we have created a new file we can also see that tabs are, are working so this one is really a power device and then we can also save the file we've got like a file pop up to choose where to save it we can change the name I'll just go with like test.txt Again, UI a bit small, but that's a bug. Don't worry about it. And then, by the way, the wallpaper is beautiful. We also have key runner, so if we type something as a test, within a couple of seconds, we'll see all the results show up. And I think this is super cool because key runner on a phone is like a killer feature. You can search between apps and files and stuff. Super cool. And then what else do we have? We have console for like power users. We had a bit of a frame drop there, but it happens. So again, console. We also have a small bar to like go around, control, delete, and the arrow keys. And here I actually forgot how to close the keyboard. So I like try to swipe from the sides and from the bottom, but it did not work because in order to close the keyboard, you have to swipe down from the keyboard itself. So I had, to, <laughs> I had some troubles here. All I had to do was to swipe down from the keyboard. So ignore my stupidity here. 
I actually opened up settings from the status bar and I think this one is a bug because it takes much longer to load compared that to the settings in the list of apps. So I think this is a bug. And if we go past it, again, the settings in the list of apps is much quicker. So it's not supposed to be this low. It's not a prob problem of the machine that will be fixed. And then we have the task manager. We can close the active apps we have and everything. And then we can also look at the box again because it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> 